but I had a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I laughed. <laughs> That's why we call her parrot long. What a parrot's gonna laugh, bro. Like that, bro. No, that don't. shit that you just let out right now, dude. <laughs> So when I was in the pen, right, I caught this little ass, itty bitty ass mouse. It was full grown, but it was like only as big as my thumb. You feel me? I was working construction one day. We was gonna throw some material away, and that fool skirted out the, the the pile of wood, and I just launched. I launched like a fucking a fumble, and I just snatched that fool up, right? I got him. I took him back to my cell, and I kept him, right? And then I kept him in this bowl. And that fool started building his nest in the bowl, right? And then uh, after he built the nest, I cut a hole in the top of the bowl and I told my seller, I said, look, fool, I said, I'm gonna put this bowl on the floor and I bet you this motherfucker gonna leave and he's gonna come back. And my seller's like, no, he ain't, no, he ain't. I said, bet, watch this shit. I left the bowl on the floor. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I named him Francois <laughs> Bouger. Right? Cause he looked like he was French. I don't know how to explain it. That fool looked hella bougie, right? It was a bougie ass mouse, right? So he took off, that fool took off, he hit the tear. He ran around all day, all night. And then I kept on telling my cellar, you gonna come back. My cellar like, no, he ain't. And in the morning, I got up early in the morning and I, was, I hopped on the toilet, right? I was taking a gangster. I was sitting there and it was still dark in the cell, but you could still see like light underneath the door and I seen a shadow and it was him. He came in and pew, went straight back to the bowl. I was like, yes, you feel me? It worked. And after that, Every day, Francois Bouger, he'll hit the tear and he'll go eat other people's shit. He'll be I'm fucking just about him. He kidnapped him. <laughs> he kidnapped him. Why he I gave him a better life. No, he kidnapped him. You locked him up with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I let him run around, though. Why did you make me feel guilty, bro? <laughs> Really? Nah. Oh, man. Oh. He's like, you're you're a fucking mouse mapper. Oh. But look, but look. I gave Francois um, um, the best life he could ever have. No, I didn't. I, I set him free. He came back. Type shit. You feel know I me? Mean? Did I? Not? I set him free. I, I put the hole in the bowl. That motherfucker left and came right back. You feel know I me? Mean? So how's that kidnapping? That motherfucker had Stockholm syndrome or something. You feel know I me? Mean? <laughs> He fell in love with his captor or what? <laughs> hey, but trip on this. I spoiled that fool. Like, I could carry him. I could take him. I used to take him everywhere with me, right? Put him inside my shirt. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I, took, I, took, I took that fool everywhere with me, right? Hey, this is how I knew this motherfucker was happy, though, on everything. Look, I used to have him in a palm of my hand like this, and I used to, like, be petting him and shit, right? And this motherfucker used to bust donuts in my hand, right? He'd go, in the gang of circles and he'll go to the edge of my hand and I feel you stand on the edge of my hand like this like a little line here <laughs> I feel like all fat and bloated up because he was a hella fat mouse. He was like overweight. <laughs> and he'll run down back there and start spinning gas. This but this ain't a normal mouse right here. This motherfucker hella happy, right? You feel me? And then the sad part about it is one day. <laughs> It's <laughs> one day I was on the shitter waiting for him to come home like five in the morning and I didn't see no shadow. You feel me? And I was like, am I tripping? Did he come in here and I didn't catch it or what? Right? And I went to the bowl to go check and Francois was in there like stiff as fuck, right? He was like, what's that shit called? Middle mortis? Not middle, um, rigor mortis. He was in the state of rigor mortis, right? But he died at old age. But I think. <laughs> <laughs> They say, they say mouses have like a three year lifespan, right? And I had them like about two years. And then like in, in prison where I was at, there was like an animal community, right? <laughs> Other cats that had cats, their dudes had snakes, lizards, gophers, uh, 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 praying mantises, frogs, we had all kind of shit, right? So we all kind of like holler at each other, like, hey man, how's your praying mantis doing? All right, man, Francois Boucher, he's chilling, right? <laughs> she like that, right? And then, so when Francois passed away, I, I wrapped him up in toilet paper and I put him in a dove soap box and went outside to all my animal community. I'm about to have a funeral for Francois. Everybody came. <laughs> we dug a hole in the yard, we had a funeral and buried him and shit. Shout out to Francois. Man, <laughs> that was one of the best pets I ever had, though. That food was dope, bro. He'll kick with me, chill with me, kick in his house, leave, come back. And then people used to tell me, like, hey, bro, they started calling him Freeway Freddy, right? <laughs> I don't know where the hell that name came from, right? But, uh, 
They were like, hey, bro, Freeway Freddy was my cell last night eating my noodles and shit, man. You better tell your mouse quick on my side. I said, bro, you do anything to my, my mouse, bro. It's a rap for you, bro. <laughs> do not touch Francois Boucher, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's murder, death, kill after that, bro. And they're like, man, all right, dude. They'll start leaving like peanut butter and uh, crackers out for him on the side of their cell and shit. And that fool had his way. He had his rooms that he would go hit and come back. That fool was dope, bro.